What is the best Saber in Saber Showdown? Well, I have come up with the ultimate tier list that you can use when buying your next weapon. Spoiler alert, the dual staff is not at the top, so keep watching to find out what is. This will include every Saber currently in the game, and I will try and include gameplay in the background for each specific Saber, so you can reach your own conclusions as well. I'm going to be pretty harsh when ranking this, as I don't want any of you to waste your credits on something trash, so let's not hang about and jump straight into it. Each Saber will be loosely ranked on five key factors, which are as follows. My own experience using it, if I have it, my own experience fighting against it, other people's reviews on it, anything that makes it stand out from other weapons, and the price. Having established that, let's jump into the first Saber. So first up we have the Dark Saber. I don't have this weapon, however it has been in the game since the start, so I do know quite a lot about it. I have real trouble fighting against this Saber normally, even when the person using it doesn't have many kills. I think this is due to the buff defense it provides, so stamina goes down very slowly. People who use it absolutely rave about it, and many people think it's the best Saber in the game. It's also on the cheaper side for a Saber that isn't just cosmetic and it makes an incredibly satisfying noise when you activate it. And obviously this is the weapon of the Mandalorian so it is great for cosplaying and you know, out of all these reasons I think it is fair to put it in B tier. Next up we have the Dual Saber. This is the forehand version opposed to the backhand version. As you can see this is my first choice for sabers, it swings really fast, it has a balanced attack and defence. You can do attack combos by jumping and swinging and most people who use it agree. Dueling against someone who uses this is always a challenge, especially if they know how to fight properly. This is quite pricey, which is probably the only slight negative, but is worth every credit in my opinion. So based off my unbiased opinion, it's going straight into S tier. Now we have the Curved Saber, this is purely cosmetic so has no actual advantage. Because of this I wouldn't really recommend buying it over anything else, however if you are really good at the game, beating people consistently with the basic Saber is just an absolute flex. So I'll leave that one up to you. A big bonus for this is cosplaying, as this is obviously the Saber used by Count Dooku, who let's face it is an absolute legend. I'm going to put it in C tier, as I wouldn't recommend buying it as a beginner, but if you have too many credits it can be fun to use. Next up are the Nunchucks. I bought these for a special video when they were first released and they were unbelievably OP at the time. Since then they have been nerfed twice, so it is now pretty trash. Other people who use them agree that there are better options and I always feel confident going into a duel against somebody using this weapon. It doesn't really have any positives other than being a bit quirky, as it isn't even in the Star Wars universe. So because of this, unfortunately it has to go in the D tier. Straight into the next one we have the Katana, I'm basically using this as the default saber. Firstly, as I forgot to add the default saber onto the tier list, but secondly because this is free so even a complete beginner can use this. This is what we all used before we could afford a better saber, however I never do feel worried dueling against somebody who has this. Like the curved saber, it is a very big flex to be the best into the server using this, so for this reason and the nostalgia of it being all of our first sabers, it has to go in the C tier. Now brace yourselves because we have my least favourite weapon in the entire game, the whip. This is a disgrace to the name of lightsabers to be perfectly honest, beside the fact that it makes no sense, like how can a lightsaber be bendy but also act as a blade, it's also a trash weapon. I feel like people who use this are just too scared to actually fight because they want to be significantly out of reach of people, but also attack them. I always make a special effort to seek out and loop kill people who use this, because they just annoy me. You might be expecting me to now say something like, oh I'm not trying to offend anyone who uses this, but to be honest, I am trying to offend them. It's going straight in D tier. If I had a lower tier, I would put it there. In fact, this tier is reserved just for the whip. That's how bad it is, so the nunchuck is getting a promotion to C tier. Take that, whip. Rant over, we now have the spear. This is also an OG weapon, so while I don't actually own it, I have fought against it many times. This used to be a really good weapon, as the slight bit of reach gave you an advantage in any duel. However, I have noticed that over time it seems to have got worse and worse. I don't know if this is to do with there being more sabers in the game with an increased range, or if it has actually been nerfed, but all I do know is it's not very good. I'll keep this one short. I don't recommend you buy it unless you're cosplaying as a red robe guard. So this is also a C tier weapon, that is getting a crowded group. I promise the good sabers will be coming later in the video. Next up we have the single backhand. I'm conscious that this video is dragging a little bit so I'll try and speed some of them up. Essentially this looks cool and has a slight buff on movement speed but doesn't do much else. 
I can't quite remember how much it costs, but I don't think it was any more than 16k, so it's pretty cheap. It can be fun to use, but I would recommend saving up a little bit more for something a bit better. So it's going in B tier. Now here is one I'm sure a few have been waiting for, the Jewel Staff. I have bought this, and I'm going to surprise you and say I think it's significantly overrated. I'm not saying it's bad because you literally have four lightsabers, I'm not sure it's possible for that to be bad, however it doesn't make you unbeatable, in fact far from it. I went from being a dual saber user to using this, and I was so surprised by the fact that you just lose stamina so incredibly quickly. I enjoy beating people who use this, as they are quite often toxic to new players, and it's really not hard to win duels. If I was fighting somebody who actually knows how to play the game, I probably wouldn't back myself to beat them. But the majority of people who use this don't know how to use it, so for the most part you can be pretty safe in saying you can beat them. This is a close one between A and B tier, but just based on the fact that it's so expensive and isn't really that good, it's going to have to go in B tier. Next up we have the Boomerang. This is the only ranged weapon that is any good. I never got round to making a video on this when it was added, so I don't actually own it, but based on watching other people use it and fighting against it, I have to say, it seems very good. I think where it stands out is when you're fighting against multiple people. As I've seen people do this thing where they sort of run around in circles and swing, and they just drop people like there's no tomorrow. I don't believe it's quite an S tier, but it's a very good weapon, and I seem to think the price is quite reasonable. So if you are looking for a new weapon, I would consider buying this, and it's going straight into A tier. Getting towards the end now, we have the dual backhand. This is the younger brother of the S tier dual saber, however they are still very good. I prefer the regular duels, as they are a little bit more balanced in my opinion, but the backhands are more geared to an all out attack. I do win most battles against people using this saber, supporting the point that the regular jewels are superior, however it would be unfair for me to put them anywhere other than S tier as I know this is a much loved weapon by the community. Next up we have the cross guard, of course the go to weapon for our boy Kylo Ken. It has a buffed attack but a nerfed defence. You can however use any form you want with this, so providing you use a defensive form like 1 or 5, this is a quality weapon. This also sounds really nice when you activate it, and is normally quite difficult to beat people who use this. If you know how to play the game properly, you can become nearly unbeatable with this saber, but it is very much an endgame weapon, not for your average player, so it is going firmly in A tier. Moving on S tier, but we'll leave it in A. Penultimately we have the Staff. Despite the fact that I don't use this, it ticks all the boxes you can look for in a weapon. It's good for both attack and defence, you can do the fancy jump attack combo things, and you can cosplay as the old Morley boy. As much as I hate to crowd the S tier category, I don't think I have much choice in putting this one there, because it is, frankly, an incredible weapon. For some reason I've left the Tonfa until last, I don't know how, if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm just going to call it a Tonfa. I've tired myself out, so I'm not going to milk this one. It's rubbish, it's overpriced, and it looks stupid. I don't want to own one. It's not as bad as the whip, but then again nothing is, so I think C tier is the right place for it. And there we go, we have a speedrun review of every saber in the game. If you are using this video as market research, looking to buy a saber, I would say focus on S tier and A tier, as you really can't go wrong with any of them. But at the end of the day, it's you who will be using it, not me, so if you want anything lower down, then go for it. Not the whip though, don't buy that, or I will tell Builderman to ban you. I know him, I can do that, I promise. Any hoozles, that's all from me. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. Like the video, subscribe it because you clearly enjoyed it. Watch this video here if you want to know how to take your Saber Showdown game to the absolute next level. But this is Dubar signing off. Peace out.